Master your tools. Ace your presentation rehearsals. Hello everyone. Today, we'll be focusing on an essential part of rehearsing for any presentation. Practicing with your presentation tools. Remember, your tools could be PowerPoint slides, laser pointers, or even your own body language and voice. Being well prepared with these tools can make a significant difference in your performance. So let's dive right into it. Just like a craftsman needs to know their tools, you also need to understand the tools you will be using for your presentation. For example, if you're using PowerPoint, get familiar with all its features, from the basic slide creation to the advanced animation features. If you're using a laser pointer, Understand how to use it to highlight key points without distracting your audience. Remember, the aim of using any tool is to enhance your message, not distract from it. The next step is to start practicing with your tools. Set up a mock presentation area where you can rehearse with all the tools you plan to use. This could be in front of your computer, or in a room similar to the one where you'll be giving your presentation. If you're using slides, practice the transitions, clicking through them as you speak. If you have a laser pointer or a clicker, get comfortable with handling it. Make sure your body language and voice are in sync with the tools you're using. The more comfortable you are with your tools, the smoother your actual presentation will be. An important part of rehearsing with your tools is to simulate the actual presentation environment as closely as possible. This includes understanding the spatial layout, anticipating any potential technical issues, and even the timing of your presentation. Ask questions like, will you be standing or sitting? Will there be a podium? How large is the screen for your slides? Answering these questions and practicing accordingly will help you be prepared for the actual presentation. Finally, consider getting feedback. Rehearse in front of a friend or a family member and ask for their input. They might notice something that you missed or give you insights about your use of the presentation tools that you hadn't considered. They can help you identify if you're overusing or underusing a tool or if your timing is off with your slides. In conclusion, the key to an effective rehearsal is practicing with your presentation tools, simulating the actual presentation environment, and seeking feedback. I hope these techniques will help you feel more confident and prepared for your next presentation. Remember, the goal of rehearsing with your tools is to enhance your message. So keep practicing until you master it.